Hello YouTube. I've got a um, pretty interesting looking uh, contraption here. Got an amplifier uh, with a bunch of connectors on it sticking out. That's my homemade amplifier I had built. It outputs I think five watts or two and a half or something like that. It says on here that I had wrote that it outputs 3.5 but I forget if that's at 4 ohms or something like that. 8 ohms or what. Uh, you've got your power terminals here. I've got uh, two of these banana, two RCA connectors. Got the other one I'm using something else, a speaker. Then you've got the inputs. The inputs are parallel. You've got volume control fan on and off. Just basically to turn off you have to uh, unhook the power supply. I've got a meter box and the meter sitting down. I have to glue it in. Um, and there's actually light bulbs in that too. But uh, the power supply is not uh, connected to that. This right here is a mixer. It's passive. It's got a phono stage in it, everything. Some of the knobs are missing. Uh, I still have to connect those pots. I don't have uh, that many 10K resistors. I have enough for this whole channel, five, and then those three right there. I still have to finish those two. So let's take a lesson now. Hopefully this music uh, won't get my audio muted or anything. I just finally got video upload times of up uh, up to, uh, I think they're up to 45 minutes or whatever. It's just basically past 15 minutes now. Thank God. <laughs> I'm happy I finally got that. So basically you're going to be hearing CD player. And since I almost have these outputs all the way turned up, gotta adjust that a little bit. On the VU. So there you go. So that's channel one, or channel A. This is channel you know, one, that's two. Now if I turn that down. And I turn up this. Should be this one. Forget what job it's. There we go. It's not that one. It's not that one. I still have to label things, connectors and such. Look quite sure what what is. That's only a left channel. Where's the right channel? Now? There we go. about that angle there. I'm trying to connect it to a different input. Still have to tighten some of those nuts down there. Well, at least we can get a basic understanding of how it works. So we've got that now, we can turn up the CD player. This overshoots, this is much louder than that, simply because the control on the device itself. That's the thing to remember in passive mixers, when uh, devices have their own separate control.
Okay, so that was just a quick video. Right now I'm doing CD player and it's a cassette deck, but it's got a uh, built-in AMF and tuner. So just a quick video here showing that off. Still quite a bit of uh, work to do on it. Basically what it was is it was a old uh, satellite box and the box was completely fried. There'll be a power switch here and indicator lights um, and different switches for changing over to uh, basically just turning on the uh, phono preamp and things to save power so the front will look much better when I get complete the top and just screwed into it and then the back we've got our inputs got some of them mounted on the block of wood got a couple inputs and outputs right there and uh, Basically, I think later I'll probably add a, uh, a tube circuit in there for uh, phono preamp, change it from solid state to phono, or so solid state to tube for the phono, and then do solid state. Uh, uh, right now, I'm going to just place a simple mic preamp in it. I'll do uh, tube later. So, thanks for watching.